This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. As we continue our conversation with Ecuador's foreign minister, Ricardo Patino, I interviewed him Monday at the permanent mission of Ecuador to the United Nations. We discussed the United Nations General Assembly meeting and why Ecuadorian President Correa isn't attending, as well as the plight of WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange, who spent more than 450 days in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. We also talked about the health of Cuba's revolutionary leader. Fidel Castro and the legacy of Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez. But first, I asked the foreign minister why Ecuador recently dropped a plan to preserve large areas of the Amazon rainforest from oil drilling by having wealthy countries pay them not to drill. President Correa said the plan to save parts of the Yasuni National Park had not attracted sufficient funding. UNESCO has designated the park as a world biosphere reserve because it contains 100,000 species of animals, many which are not found anywhere else in the world. Well, environmentalists Vandana Shiva, Naomi Klein, the scientist James Hansen and others recently wrote an open letter to President Correa, asking him to not forsake the initiative. The letter read in part, quote, Along with thousands of other world citizens, we look to the Asuni ITT initiative as a pioneering step in the international struggle for a post-fossil fuel civilization. We have been inspired by the determination of the Ecuadorian public to rejuvenate the initiative following your government's recent decision to abandon it. Accordingly, we're extremely concerned at reports that your government is attempting to repress the voices of the majority of Ecuadorians who continue to support the Sunni proposal. We understand that efforts are underway to block a public referendum on the question that press freedom is being curtailed and that students exercising their right of dissent are being threatened with expulsion from their schools. That's what the letter to President Correa read. I asked Ecuador's foreign minister, Ricardo Patino, to respond to the letter. First of all, it's important to say that it was the Ecuadorian government that presented the initiative, and we've been working on it for six years. What does the initiative say, basically? It says, well, we'd like to preserve the extraordinary biodiversity on the uh, surface of Yasuni, and that we want to exploit the oil in the subsurface, that is to say, underground, um, and that we also want to avoid drilling and selling and burning this oil, and thus avoid polluting the atmosphere. The initiative said the following, the Ecuadorian government is willing to sacrifice 50 percent of the resources that this oil could generate for Ecuador, resources that we need. Ecuador is not a rich country, and Ecuador needs resources for its development. There is still quite a lot of poverty. A lot has changed in the last six years. A lot has been improved, but we need to work quickly to achieve even better conditions, and we need these resources. All over the world, natural resources are being exploited without um, a great deal of concern about the impacts of that exploitation. And we appeal to the world, and we said we're willing to sacrifice 50 percent of the income that could potentially be generated. Generated, but the world has to contribute. And we said if the international community would cover the other 50 percent, we were willing to, to completely preserve uh, the area of Yasuni ITT and not exploit the oil indefinitely.
Pero la respuesta del mundo fue But the world's response negativa. was negative. Logrado unos poquitos millones de dólares. Um, we only got a very Nosotros few million of dollars. Si no and we said, la if we don't, the world doesn't respond to our appeal, problema. we are going to have to exploit this oil because we need these resources um, and the resulting income de haber hecho una y otra after having done appealed and appealed and appealed and not seen an echo to our appeal, Ecuador decided no to exploit the oil without affecting the surface of Yasuni. This is very important. It'll have some impact, but it'll be minimal. We respect the criteria that were expressed in that open letter. If the people who signed it could um, raise the awareness of the world to achieve the ends that we didn't manage to achieve, we would be uh, delighted. But unfortunately, we didn't achieve what we had proposed. And maybe there are other issues that the world is more concerned about or interested in. The world um, spends two billion in arms and weapons. Y en esto, que and es la or two trillion. Los grandes países, los grandes potencias, and las grandes empresas no quisieron comprometerse. The uh, rich countries and companies did not want to contribute Incluso to en, the fund for Yasuni. países europeos muy even in very rich, uh, wealthy, and powerful European countries, uh, it was the local authorities that contributed to the fund, but not the federal governments. Uh, the world has other priorities, but we also need to try and eliminate the misery that um, people are suffering in Ecuador. There are a lot of people who still die from um, um, intestinal um, illness and a lack of drinking water, and so we need these resources. What about the call for a public referendum in Ecuador on Yasuni? The government of Ecuador can make a decision through its legislative body. Y por eso el and ha that's why the president has sent this Nacional, proposal Nacional, to the National Assembly to um, analyze it and make a decision on it. Si es que hay un if a significant part of the population wants to organize a public referendum, they can do so, and they can collect um, signatures to that effect, and then we can go and have a public referendum. We uh, don't have any problem in doing that. Why is President Correa not addressing the UN General Assembly like so many world leaders are? Este, el presidente Correa President Correa no tiene una gran expectativa sobre las cosas que se doesn't have a lot of expectations about what is said in the uh, meetings of the General Assembly. He attended one General Assembly and address the hall, but there were no world leaders in the room at the time to hear what he had to say. It seems like only the first speeches are 
given importance la para and the rest la manera, la metodología que está organizada. so um, there's concern Nosotros about the methodology of how things are organized here y haber tenido la experiencia que él tuvo and en las Naciones Unidas. since he had the experience that he had here in the UN um, he was esto, quite frankly just no frustrated and he's not really interested in participating in an event Realmente nadie tiene mucho interés en where nobody really seems to be interested in hearing each other foreign minister